Hi, so today we are talking about what is in my university backpack. So firstly, before we start off, I've got a couple like awesome things in the background. I'm trying to make my desk look a little bit more seasonal for videos. So let me know if you guys like it. And now on to my backpack. This is the Kunkin laptop bag and it is a bit heavy because it is full of stuff. I believe it is the 17 inch laptop bag size, but I could be wrong. I couldn't find the exact size. And this gorgeous color, I don't believe they sell it anymore. I got this bag in like 2019, but this is the spring landscape color. So starting with the outside of the bag, as you can see here, it has a space for a water bottle. So this is my water bottle, nothing special, just from Ikea. I ideally want to get a slightly bigger one because I want to start drinking more water at uni, but for now that is fine. And the bag would fit a water bottle that is bigger than that. It is also water resistant, so not waterproof, but if you're just in the rain, it is great. Um, but I like that it's not fully waterproof because I can still wash it at home quite easily. And talking about how I've had it since 2019, it is such a a durable bag you cannot tell I've had it for a couple years and I use this as airport carry-on every time I go on the train everything like that as well as my uni bag so it has definitely seen some things it's well traveled and it still looks pretty much brand new and like I was saying before it's relatively easy to clean for a backpack I just do mine in the shower with some dish soap if I want to clean it often after I've been on a plane okay so now let's get into one of my favorite things about this bag and that is the laptop pocket <laughs> So this is my laptop, which obviously I keep in the laptop pocket. And talking about the pocket itself first, I love that it is padded, it protects my laptop. I've had this laptop for so long, which I will talk about in a second, and it has seen far too much damage. So having a padded laptop bag is so good. I used to have a laptop case, but I find having it in the bag, you know, is a lot easier. Yeah, my laptop, I use it for literally everything. I use it for gaming, YouTube, work, study, everything. And it is the mid-2014 macbook pro so i have had this for about six years and it is still so good i love that it has usb ports and everything like that and as you can see at the moment i have one sticker on it it is my her campus sticker which is a magazine i write for on campus and right now that's the only one but i definitely want to add some more uh yeah i think that's pretty much everything i can say about my laptop it's very good and i love how big it is okay so now just talking about the little case at the front of my bag you know the little front pocket. So the stuff I have in there at the moment is a mask. Obviously not all places need masks, but I like to have one on me um, in case they do, especially in lectures. Sometimes you'd be sitting next to someone who is immunocompromised or something like that. So you want to have one on you. <laughs> so you want to have one on you um, in case you need to wear one. Um, this one is from Accessorize. I've actually found that the Accessorize ones are my favorite type of mask, um, highly recommend them. Then I have my wallet, um, which I keep forgetting to bring with me, but I need to because everything's on my phone now, but this has all my physical cards and all my stamp cards. So definitely have this. And then I also have my keys. Um, I won't show too much of those because I've heard some things about showing photos of your keys on the internet, which scare me. I do have this really cute little crystal leaf a charm and then also a hand sanitizer keychain which is really really helpful then in the front pocket of my bag i generally put things like if i'm wearing something without pockets i'll put my phone in there i'll put a scrunchie or a claw clip if my hair isn't out and then i just have like sanitary products any sort of like emergency essential that kind of thing now onto the main part of the bag also before we get into it i totally forgot to mention i've been loving doing this for university videos but i'm wearing my leeds jumper so yeah feeling very studenty back to school all those kind of vibes. All right, main pocket of the bag where a majority of my stuff is. Also, just to mention quickly, in first year, I took physical notes, but now I take digital notes on Notion. I have a Notion to it if you wanna check that out. So it's really good now because obviously my bag is heavy, my laptop is heavy, but I don't have to have all this clutter. I just have my laptop for notes and then you'll see what else I have. So I have my pencil case. This pencil case isn't anything special. I've had it forever, but it's kind of cute. I was gonna get a new one, but I actually kind of like this one. So in my pencil case, I always have my favorite pen, which is the Uniball Jetstream pen. Uh, this is such a great pen. It is very good if you have problems with smudging. Also, it's not too thick, not too thin. And I find it's very smooth. It makes my handwriting look really neat. And I really like it for my bullet journal. Then I always have lip balm. This is my Burt's Bees. This is the matcha and honey flavor. Honestly, I find Burt's Bees is one of the only brands that actually doesn't dry out your lips. Then I always have my bullet 
journal colors for the month because I will use these while I'm filling out my daily spreads. This month I'm doing sort of an autumny forest theme. So I have a blue mild liner, an orange mild liner, a navy pentel touch, and a red Crayola super tips. But I just have whatever colors I am doing for that theme. So that is all for my pencil case. Okay, so this is a bit boring, but I always have my headphones. I did use to use AirPods, but I found when I was doing long study sessions or when I was on the train, it would really hurt my ears. And I actually much prefer over the ear headphones. I think the sound quality is so great for a much lower price. And yeah, they're just very handy. These ones are wireless, they're pink, they're really, really cute. And they're just from Amazon. I will link them down below if I can find them. Then I just have my laptop charger. This is very boring, but I have quite an old Mac, so I do need my laptop charger it doesn't have the battery life it once did and I'm sure with newer laptops you wouldn't need that but I like to have mine around because there's nothing worse than running out of charge in the middle of class then I always have my bullet journal I will have this and like I said some other things anything I can find linked down below if you want my exact bullet journal otherwise I have a million bullet journal videos on my channel if you want to check them out I am obsessed with bullet journaling I could not recommend anything more to anyone um, so this is always on me I would not survive without it now on to the final thing I keep in my bag. I like to not keep too much in there as I don't want to overcomplicate things and I don't want to make my bag too heavy but I like to have my current read in there especially if I have time off to try to do some reading and yeah I've been really into reading. I have a couple videos on that too and I want to get more into it on my channel so you can check that out as well. As for now forgive me this isn't actually my current read. I was reading it last night when I was going to bed so this is actually the one I read just before it. So right now I'm reading Queen of Nothing but this is The Wicked King which I just finished. I am obsessed with this series the first time I've read it. Um, I know I'm super late to it but I could not love it more. It's amazing. I always have my current read if it's a physical book. Obviously I put that in there. There's a nice little pocket in the Kunkin where I can put my books so that they don't get sort of scratched or damaged by anything else in there. Um, but obviously I don't love carrying physical books around because they are a bit precious to me and I really do hate when a page gets damaged. Obviously you can see I do mark up books quite a bit and I do crack the spine when I read but if I'm going to mark up a book I want it to be on my terms and not an accidental rip from like my computer charger or something. So if I'm reading on my Kindle it is so much easier to bring it with me. This is my Kindle. I love it. It is amazing. I never thought I would be able to read ebooks. It really just wasn't my thing. And then my boyfriend Jake got me this and it has been the best purchase ever. I forget what exact type this is but if you're into reading I'm sure you'll recognize it. Otherwise the Kindles in general are just very good. Jake has one. I have one. I highly recommend them and this adorable color is the color plum so yeah I feel like I've been so jumpy this whole video I just got back from the library been studying filming a vlog blah 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 so I hope you guys can forgive me also I'm losing my voice if you can't tell I have tons of other uni videos if you are new to my channel please do check them out and if you're not new thank you for returning and yeah if you did like this video please do like please do subscribe if you are new I would love to see more of you and I really hope that you guys found this video a little bit helpful Oh, 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 oh,